Botox injection site on chin has swelled like a capsule is implanted. It's been three days. Will it go away? After getting three cc's of Botox injected into the center of my chin, I have swelling that looks like a large fish oil capsule was implanted in the center of my chin. It appears to have liquid in it, but isn't painful. Should I be concerned, and will it go away soon? The doctor said perhaps we should inject more Botox, but that doesn't sound like a good idea to me. What is your advice, please? Thank you for your question. It's been about three days since you got Botox injected into your chin, and you're describing swelling that you, that, that you say is like a fish oil capsules were placed in your chin. And, um, and you want to know whether or not it will go away, and your doctor even suggested doing additional Botox. Well, I think that this is, um, uh, this is something that uh, uh, requires a little bit more um, physical examination in order to get a, a full sense of what's, what's going on. But I can tell you um, a little bit of what, my, what I believe is likely to be the case in this situation. Just a little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculoplastic and reconstructive surgeon and um, as, a, as a foundation, um, oculoplastic surgeons were one of the first doctors to use Botox um, before it became so popular because it was a drug used mainly for medical conditions such as a benign essential blepharospasm and hemifacial spasm and I've been using this drug for patients since 1993. So I, can, I, I would speculate that there may be um, some fluid under the skin uh, related to the application um, in terms of volume of fluid. To understand what I'm saying, basically botulinum toxin or diasport or zeamin all comes in a powder form. And based on the physician's preferred um, method, they can put a certain amount of fluid and then calculate a number of units per volume of fluid. In my practice, I generally try to put in as little fluid as possible. Um, it's been something that I developed over time uh, and experienced because I realized that even though it was easier to calculate with a little bit larger volume, patients um, walked away with some swelling. So, so what we do is we actually concentrate as much as is practical the, uh, the units per volume so that we can pl I can place the, uh, the, the material into, this, into the muscle and leave as little fluid around as possible. So my, 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 my impression is that this was basically a certain volume of fluid that went into the muscle, but then a certain volume of fluid just kind of became um, elevated out and created this type of appearance. Now, the, the ongoing effect of the Botox may be partially responsible for this odd shape. Um, I noticed in the photo that the, the, there is dimpling in the chin, and I suspect that was the point of doing the Botox. Um, what is done is it, the injection is placed in a muscle called the mentalis muscle to address chin dimpling. Now, I, I would not in any way contradict your doctor's opinion, but I think that it is reasonable also to consider just waiting and allowing this fluid to get absorbed. A lot of times a little bit of massage can go a long way and allowing this fluid to go, get absorbed will, will likely uh, result in resolution. Now if for some reason this fluid doesn't uh, absorb then needle aspiration or something has to be done to, to, uh, to get rid of it. But I think that given it's only been about three days it is probably best to maintain the, the communication with your doctor as far as ongoing guidance. And so uh, th this might have also been when the injection was placed, it might have been placed in an 
in a in, in a space where the skin may have been a little bit loose, and it and, and it creates like a, what we call it as a bleb, which is at a, at a more superficial layer of the skin, as opposed to the deeper layers of the skin where the fluid tends to just flow out, and sometimes uh, that can potentially happen. Um, and so that's, that may also be um, the situation here. Your doctor may have wanted to be a little bit more superficial and may have ended up injecting the fluid at a more superficial level of the skin. Um, and that created this kind of uh, balloon appearance that's more uh, superficial. Again, I think it's, um, it's something that your doctor and you should probably be able to resolve without too much aggressive intervention. And hopefully what, um, what I've said for you um, is, is helpful. So once again, I hope that was helpful and uh, wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.